Okay, today we're going to be looking at probability and chance. All right, so probability is the measure of how likely it is for an event to happen. So we name a probability with a number from 0 to 1. If an event is certain to happen, then the probability is 1. And if it is not, it is certain that it will not happen, the probability is 0. So if it is uncertain whether or not an event will happen, then the probability is somewhere between 0 and 1. And it's usually written as a fraction or can be converted to a decimal or a percent. We're going to be looking at it with a fraction. So if we were to look at the spinner, it's the probability of spinning, um, that the spinner will stop at A. So we have our total of four spots on our probability. So go ahead and write down what the answer is. This should be a re review from last year. All right, so let's look at the next one. The probability that the spinner will stop on, on first on the even. It's the first question. And then if it'll stop on an odd number is the second question. Okay, stop and pause this and answer those two. So, on the first one, the probability of the spinner that will stop on part A would be one out of fourth, so one fourth of a chance that it'll stop on an A. Probability for the second one that it'll land on an even number would be one out of three, because there's three total places for it to land, and only one of them is even. Or the probability for it to stop on an odd number would be two out of three, two thirds of a chance, because two of them are odd, and there's a total of three spots that it could land on. So the last one, what fractions names the probability that's been, uh oh, we'll stop on an area marked A again. That one got cut off, sorry about that, guys. So the same setup as the spinner before. So the chance of this is that it'll land on A is one third. All right, so here's another question set up for you. It says that Lawrence is the captain of his track team. The team has decided on a color and all eight members wrote their choice down on equal size cards. If Lawrence picks one card at random, what is the probability that he will pick blue? So remember your total choices, remember your fractions are always the same. So total choices, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total choices. So the denominator is eight. And I want to know the probability of blue. So that would be one, two, three out of eight. So the probability that Lawrence's team picks the card um, at random that it will be blue would be three eighths. Okay, so if you think about this, kind of how y'all looked at it last year, that would be a less likely chance because it's less than half. Here's another one, so go ahead and write this one down too. So Donald is rolling a number cube labeled one to six. Which of the following is least likely? So go ahead and pause it and answer it. Here's your answer choices. So which one of these is least likely to occur? An even number, an odd number, or a number that's greater than five? For over one through six. Pause it and answer it. Okay, so a least likely chance of one through six, so you have an even number where you have two, four, and six, so that's three out of six, which is a half, half, and then you have, so which would be eatherly likely. Odd would be one, three, and five, so it's either one, and then number greater than five would just be six. So least likely to occur would be C, a number that's greater than five. Okay, so this is chance. So you guys kind of looked at it last year, but we're going to look at it whenever we use percents. Percents takes you back to the number line, which is where your fractions fall. So remember it's still, remember you look at probability that's saying between zero and one of it occurring, and of course halfway would be halfway, would be one half. So if it's zero, it's certain not to happen. If it falls in the middle, then it's equally likely, likely to occur or not to occur. And then it's certain, if it's one, then it's certain to occur. So if it's like four over four, it's certain to occur. Percents of chance is still the same thing. Your number's the same, it's just got that percent on the, on the bottom. So I've got a zero percent, it's certain not to happen. Or I've got 50 percent, it's 50% oh, chance, sorry. So it's just as equally to happen as it is not to. And then you have 100% that it's certain to happen. So here's the chance. Let's look at this. So when a meteorologist states that a chance of rain is 50%, the meteorologist is saying that it is equally likely to rain or not to rain. If the chance of rain rises to 
then it is more likely to rain. And if the chance drops to 20%, then it, is, then it may rain, but it probably will not. So it doesn't mean that it's not going to occur, it just means it's less likely to. All right, so let's look at these again. So what is the chance of spinning a number that's greater than 1? Okay, so you would set it the same way. So go ahead and answer this question. I want you to go ahead and give me the fraction, and if you can think of the percent, great. The percent we're going to get into later in the year, you don't have to worry about that right now, but it's, if you know it, it's already it's easy to go ahead and start looking at it that way. So greater than 1 would be a chance of getting greater than 1 would be 1 out of 4th, which would be 25% chance. All right, so number two, what is the chance of spinning a four? And then three, what is the chance that a spinner will stop on an odd number? So pause it. Okay, so the chance of spinning a four would be one out of four, so it would be a 25% chance. And the chance of spinning an odd number would be one and three, which would be two out of four. So a half, probability of, ha of occurring half the time. So a chance is 50%. Let's look if we were to use this spinner and answer the same question. So go ahead and pause it and answer these three questions. Okay, we'll look at these three tomorrow. Okay, so don't forget to bring in those questions. So I'm going to pull it up on that screen one more time. Hold on just a sec. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in the answers for these questions. I know it's a little bit different. Sorry, I messed up on my screen. Um, so answer these four questions and bring those in and we'll go over them tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow.